but got it snout on. So now the next thing, while we're waiting for this to dry for a minute or two, we can set this aside and we're gonna take that streamer paper that we've got and we're going to cut some pieces out. Um, the length is entirely up to you. I guess it depends on however long you happen to want your flames of fire to be coming out of the snout. So I'm probably gonna do about this long, but if you could, if you want to go longer, sure. If you want to go shorter, sure. And like I said with this, um, yellow, red, orange, any fire color works and you can even um, combine the colors and do multiple ones if you want. So how you're going to do this is after you cut the piece, let me cut one out for demonstration. After you cut this piece, you are going to go ahead and take your roll again and either take the liquid glue or the glue dots and on the inside of the paper roll you're going to lather that up with glue and we're going to take one strip at a time and piece it all in the mouth of the dragon. Now an extra little detail that you could add to the streamers um, just to make it even more flame-like is you could go ahead and cut a bit of a point at the end so it really looks like the tip of a flame. So if you wanna take another extra few seconds to do that, go right ahead. See now this looks even more like a flame, especially when you blow it out, which we're gonna be doing in a minute. Now I'm not giving a specific number for how many of these streamers because really that's up to you, um, but the more the better, especially when you blow in, it's gonna look better if you have a bunch of them. So I've only got three in so far, but I'm gonna keep layering them around so that it looks even more flame-like when I go and blow through my dragon. So what I'm finding as I'm pacing these streamers is that I like it better to actually cut a slit in one of these thick pieces. So I just cut a slit right down in the middle and it just, I think it looks better with a bunch of the little pieces. So that's something else that's optional, but I kind of think it looks more flame-like if you just take a knife and slit it up um, most of the way. Just, I think it looks more like little flames of fire when I do it this way, but all the little pieces instead. So I had a few extra pieces of orange streamer laying around the house, so I added just a few of those in. So now I have yellow and orange. And here is my dragon. And he is ready to breathe some fire. So this part will be fun for the kids. So you can have them let it dry for a minute or two. And then after, you can go ahead and have them blow through and watch the fire come out. Well, I truly hope you all enjoyed making your very own special fire breathing dragon and that you can have so much fun with it in the days to come. It's always great to be able to make crafts from just things you've got laying around the house. So thank you so much for watching and thanks for joining me in my craft. Bye! Thank you.